Thanks for taking time to, to watch our demonstration. Uh, joining me today is Chad Nichols. He's one of our senior engineers here at Kerasoft, and he's going to walk us through uh, three steps in helping you to better understand how to configure um, voice uh, for Microsoft Teams. We're going to see how to add an emergency address uh, so that you can have multiple locations then associated with that address later on. We're gonna show you how to associate phone numbers uh, with those locations. And then finally, third-party tools like Chaosoft often will request a specific code to tie everything together. And Chad's gonna walk you through just very briefly the steps that you'll need uh, in PowerShell to retrieve those codes. With that, I'm gonna turn it over to Chad. Chad? All right, thanks, Bob. So the first thing I'll show is how to add a new uh, emergency address. So I already have one here in the company, but I'm going to go ahead and add a new one. We'll call this um, Kiosoft HQ. Uh, pick our country, which is going to be U.S. because we are based in the U.S. And from that point, basically you just start uh, typing in an address and Microsoft will kind of do a search and help you with that. And once it picks the address, it will be a validated address because it's a, an appropriate address. Uh, save that. And once that's complete, you have a new emergency address. The next step would be to associate some phone numbers with this address. And to do that, you just go down to phone numbers, click on add. I'm not actually gonna complete this because I already have some phone numbers available. But it's basically the same process uh, for the number type. I'm going to just go ahead and do user, subscriber. Um, I have a few available, so I'm going to go do, th do this. And then when you start to search by the city name, you just need to reference the city location. Let's see here. Sorry, the city name. And here's the address that I just created. If I were going to want to go ahead and get the uh, phone numbers assigned, I could just pick an area code and keep going. But I'm not going to do that because I already have numbers. After you have your uh, phone numbers created, then you just need to pull the code that Microsoft will use to match the phone numbers with the location. And to do that, there's a couple different ways. We have the uh, previous uh, Skype online PowerShell commands that you can use if you have those uh, available or if you're using the newer uh, Teams PowerShell module, here is the list of commands for that as well. Uh, once you are connected with either of the two methods, then you just run this uh, final command and I've done that for you. And that returns this particular code that Microsoft uses then and then Chaosoft will also use to match the phone location and be able to pull the numbers uh, from your tenant. Well, that, Chad, thank you so much for that. Really appreciate it. So just to kind of go back through this really quickly here and what you actually did, uh, at the top, you did a dollar credential equal get credential. That prompted you for a username and password, uh, which we didn't show because we have already run these commands. The second uh, two commands, the uh, new CS online session establishes the connection uh, to Teams Online, and the next one actually goes and gets the PowerShell commands, brings them down, and you got a confirmation. And then you ran your get CS Online uh, directory tenant number cities, which is the city location that Microsoft uses, uh, so that if you want to associate a phone number with a particular location, you have that that code that you may be asked for uh, by a third party like Chaosoft. Now, I think it's important uh, to mention that. Uh, when you set up an emergency address, it's a physical uh, address uh, where they could send first responders if there was an emergency or figure out where you were if there's some sort of an emergency happening uh, and you've used a particular phone number uh, to, to dial out from. Uh, but there's a slight difference between location, which is the other term you're seeing here, and emergency address. Uh, the emergency address is the physical street address. But if you think about it, you might have a large building with 10 or 15 stories. A location could be, for example, the first floor. 
So you could have the uh, physical address and then multiple locations within that address or at that address. So it's just important, I think, to point that out. And so that adds a little bit of complexity to the, the whole process, but the uh, user interface isn't really clear for Teams administration. So we just wanted to make sure everybody understood that. Chad, thanks again, I appreciate it. Uh, and uh, with that, we'll close up uh, this demo.